so I won't stop till you're all clapping. There we go. I check you off. Thank you very much. We are misplaced Northerners. We're called that because none of us are from Oklahoma. Uh, for instance, I am a, a Roger. I went to high school in Maryland before coming to Oklahoma. I'm Tom. I'm from New Jersey. I go for walks and I drink coffee. <laughs> I'm Ken. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. That's where they have beans and cream pie. <laughs> um, Ken always goes blue in the 9.30. Uh, uh, we are misplaced northerners. We, uh, we exist here without borders. Uh, we don't fit in here. So uh, our show, ideally, will be weird. And so you won't enjoy it. If you enjoy it, we've let you down. We have not achieved what we are going for. We're going for a very awkward show, uh, something that doesn't feel like it belongs on the stage. Misplaced, if you're catching everything we're doing so far. Uh, uh, to get us started, let's talk about like your favorite holiday memory. Anybody have one of those? Oh, Ashley has one. I don't know who. I'm sorry, stranger. <laughs> Frosty came and delivered my presents, and they just came spilling out of the fireplace. Frosty the snowman. Yes, and Rudolph. And Rudolph delivered your presents, but it came out of the fireplace. How did you know it was Frosty and Rudolph? Because my mom would always talk to Frosty before Christmas to let him know what I wanted, uh -huh. and she would he would drop it off and she'd wrap it. And as a kid, and you thought it, it was totally fine for Frosty, a snowman, to get near to your fireplace. No, it was Okay, and now your mom had an issue with Santa Claus. She was just trying to face him out in favor of uh, Frosty. I didn't like him. You didn't like him. He creeped me out. Santa Claus creeped you out, so your mom reinvented Christmas to appease you. Where now Santa Claus, uh, her Frosty and Rudolph are a, a, a pair. Yeah. That is beyond, above and beyond on your mother's part. That is nuts. You guys have any questions on that? Uh, no, it pretty much explains itself. All right, any other uh, uh, favorite holiday memories? One time, I actually did the stereotypical Jewish thing, where I got Chinese food, and I went to see a movie with my mom. The movie was a young adult starring Charlie Theron, and it was okay. Okay. Uh, before we explore this any further, uh, are you Jewish? Yes. All right, because okay. otherwise that's yeah. an offensive story. I'm not going to go along with that. You're yeah. <laughs> just like, you know what, let's get Christmas cultural here. Cultural <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. uh, young adults with uh, Charlie Theron, that's the one with also uh, Patton Oswalt, yeah. and they uh, make out in the woods? No. No. <laughs> no, they make out and they're in the woods, but not, they don't, not at the same time. All right. Yeah. Like, they, they make out in front of a bunch of action figures. I mean, I saw it on video, like, uh, 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 Someone who didn't go to the movies with their mom, but you know, it's, it's, no, I'm kidding. I was distracted by my mom. <laughs> Any other favorite holiday uh, uh, memories before we start? Oh, someone's raising their hand. Ooh. What's your name, sir? Uh, Will. Will. Will has a story. Oh, okay. So you will um, now. My brother got me sand. <laughs> sand. Sand. Was <laughs> well, like well, normal well, sand, well, or was it like from a beach or something? For um, it was. I think it was from Brookstone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a little jar. It's like, here's sand. Merry Christmas. I love you. It's expensive sand. Did he have a story behind it or a, a, a limerick or anything? Yeah, he said, here's sand. It's <laughs> still technically a story. <laughs> all right, now before we go, are you Egyptian at all? Or is that a, a, I don't want to uh, use that story if it's a cultural appropriation? This is from Brookstone. Okay. <laughs> You guys need anything okay, else? So we've got Frosty, Frosty, and, and Rudolph, Rudolph, not Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, uh, Chinese food movie. movie. It's fine because he's Jewish. <laughs> and then sand. Sand. <laughs> All right. I think that covers it. All right. When the lights go up, we'll disappoint you. <laughs> Go ahead, open it. <laughs> Clarice, Rudolph's Gorfund delivered it specially for you. I appreciate that. It's just... It's lint! <laughs> oh, 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 it's so great! It's oh. just lint. <laughs> I love it! I love it all year! Like, uh, you know how uh, I clean myself so well? 
You do. And you I, never have any lint. I on never you. have any belly lint at all. And then finally, I can be clean but also have belly lint. You can, you can. It's very expensive lint. Oh, what makes it so expensive? Oh. I make poor choices. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's not expensive because of the source, it's expensive oh, because... Oh, no, 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 it's, it's because it, it just cost me like a lot of my soul. I had to do degrading things to get that stuff. <laughs> Sweater shavings, sneaking up behind people, picking nits off them. Like a chimpanzee, Jane Goodall observed me for two straight weeks. <laughs> I mean, I hope you appreciate it. I do, Papa. I do. Uh, I mean, I know that you don't make great choices. For instance, you just—I'm your son, and you name me Clarice, and that's not great. Uh, well, you gave me lint for my for Christmas. Uh, it's July. Uh, <laughs> I'm like a Christmas ninja, Clarice. You never know when you're going to get presents. <laughs> it's so true. And, uh, but you know what? I still love you, Papa. I, I still love you. You know what? I don't make great choices. <laughs> this is not for me. But that, that's why you're so clean, so I, I have a confession to make. You're actually absolutely filthy. If I didn't follow you around, doing this all the time. <laughs> you would basically just be a giant ball of fuzz. <laughs> Papa, I'm so, you know, so conscious about never having lint. And you're saying that the only reason I don't have lint is because you clean me constantly, but then you gave me lint for Christmas to make me happy about the fact I never have lint. And then for lint, you gave me candy. <laughs> I'm very complex, so don't try and figure it out. Just roll with it. <laughs> and you called me Clarice. What happened to Mama? Your, your, your mom. Your mom left me. I don't know why. <laughs> Mom? Mom! I think Frosty melted in the fireplace. And I don't see any presents, Mom! Oh my god! Oh no! It is Frosty! There are sticks! The artist yeah, sticks! Dip, that's his carrot. That's his magical top hat. Didn't help him, did it? <laughs> But mom, you always said it was okay. You you said that you said our, our fireplace wouldn't be on the frost. You would deliver all the Christmas presents. But but he's dead. Oh yeah, yeah. And I guess somebody should start closing the refrigerator door too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe then Frosty wouldn't have died. <laughs> you mean it's my fault because I didn't close the refrigerator? Oh God, door. yes, your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I know you think Santa is creepy, but he makes a list to prevent these things from happening. First, he just charges in blindly. He doesn't know if he's entering a naughty boy's house or a nice boy's house. Well, well, I, I don't want anyone else to die. What do I have to do to be good? Well, I have a list. Yeah. <laughs> One, put the toilet seat down. Okay. Two, never put an empty container of milk back in the fridge. Three, wake up when I ask you to wake up. It's not fucking hard. You're seven <laughs> years old. Mom, Get it done already. Mom, you said I'm supposed to use that language. Four, stop being such a whiny little bitch about mommy swearing. <laughs> Five, get me a glass of wine. Five. Now? Yes. Thank you, Jeffrey. Sure, Mom. 
I'm sure Frosty will reconstitute next year, if you're a good boy. <laughs> so, so Frosty's not dead dead. That's good news. Frosty could come back and give us presents. So he fell for it? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> he was so scared. And he never questioned why the wooden arms didn't burn in the fire, but f the melted snow did. No, I'm sure it's like minimal psychological scarring. He'll most likely, I mean, it, that can be fixed with like 10 minutes of therapy. <laughs> I mean, you get off easy. I mean, we're Jewish, so we go to movies and we watch weird, uh, you know, like softcore porn on Christmas. <laughs> it's just me and my son, and uh, I put my arm around him, and the next thing you know, they're making out on the, uh, the screen, and then we have to have the talk. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like... More like 10 years of therapy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's seven, so... I mean, you gotta watch porn eventually. <laughs> hey, I think it totally worked. She totally bought it. That I was so sad Frosty died. Our, our plan worked! So you got the presents, and, and hey, I really want to see that movie this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm so tired of bringing my son to those hot, hot movies. <laughs> <laughs> I figure if I bring someone else a seven-year-old, that would be it. Yeah. <laughs> also, all the presents have the holes cut out from the bottom, so... <laughs> well, that's some special sand. <laughs> that's, not, that's not ordinary sand, that's special sand. <laughs> Careful with that sand, it's special. Does, does it symbolize something? I... It symbolizes sand. <laughs> Have you ever heard the term of like sands through the hourglass? So are the days, so of, are our... The days of our lives. Yeah. yeah, that's all about sand. <laughs> it symbolizes sand. That show was all about... I, I remember watching it with, with my grandmother when I was just a boy. If I was home six from school, she would eventually put it on. Is, is your grandmother still alive? No. Yeah, she's dead. She's all sand. It's all about sand. Yeah, that's right. They had her in like a, a container, and I opened it up, and it was kind of sandy. Yeah, it's, that's sand. <laughs> wow, it's like the circle of life. Well, it's mainly sand, but... It's not sand. Yeah, that's sand. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Careful with that. Let's sign it. <laughs> I know that time is a hundred dollars an ounce. I think. Oh. Hey, that guy stole some sign. <laughs> but isn't that sort of like the the tangent of life? You know, you have the circle of life, and then a little bit goes away, kind of touching it just once, and then going on forever. I think you mean tangent of life. <laughs> Is that sand? I think I, I think I finally get it. I'm, I'm, I'm understanding your wisdom. It's sand. Yeah, that's sand. Natural <laughs> sand. Yeah, it's <laughs> sand. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, he gets it. It's sand. <laughs> You can't waste that ring. Go out there. Propose. Pick someone. It doesn't okay. Matter. Okay. You don't want to okay. live like alone. Okay. You look. You look like you, you're lonely. Whoa! Whoa! Have some papers. Have some papers. Oh, hold on. Hi. Uh, what, what's your name? Lauren. Lauren. Oh my God, Lauren. That's wonderful. That's my mom's name. Hey. All right, now it's creepy. Now it's creepy. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Hi. Hi. Oh, you look amazing. Hey, I've got a ring. Do you like rings? Ask, ask his name first. Oh, uh, sir, sir, uh, sir, what's your name? Nelson. Nelson! Yeah. Oh my god, my name's Ken. Nelson and Ken forever. That sounds good, right? You know what? He looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> sir, hi, sir. Oh, hi. What's your name? Scott. Scott, will you, will you marry me? me? Uh, I'd love to. Really? Really? Oh, 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 Scott, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Alright. Alright. Okay, priest! Oh. Okay, here. Ring there. Okay, good. Uh, hi. 
All right, the short, short version. Do you? Wait, wait, wait! They wrote their own vows! <laughs> okay. Ken, you first, please. Scott, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Scott. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. in the audience. I thought I had a 1% chance, a 10% chance, 10% chance of you choosing me. It's not, it's not about you. I, don't, I mean, you, you seem like a great catch. Uh, you, you wrote that great Me Too line. Uh, this is literally the first wedding that anyone has ever objected. I mean, usually it's pretty much squared away by the time they get to this point. Well, I'm sorry I didn't show up to every other wedding that ever existed. <laughs> Scott, it's still not you, I mean. <laughs> so, um, Roger, we're, we're kind of in an awkward situation. You're saying that you want to marry me. I'm saying I did want to marry you. You did. But it seems like you chose someone over me. Because you told me to, Roger. I value your opinion. Well, now it just seems like you're some sort of pushover that I don't want to be tied to for the rest of my life. You gotta show a little backbone, Kevin. I can't show backbone. I can't show backbone. Not when Roger's involved. I don't... I mean, you're, you're soft around me? Yeah, just around you, except for one room. What room is that? Not the kitchen. The study? Not the study. The library? Guys, guys. So, the Please foyer? Yes. Kind of getting a little closer. The, what's another room? The bathroom. The bathroom? Yes. That's gross, man. That's gross. But you know that's how I like it. And that's why you love me. Because I'm gross. I used to love you. Now I love Scott. You can't. You already said he married me. Let me see that finger, Scott. I'll take all of them. <laughs> Scott, will you marry me? My name's Roger. Why not? <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. There's gotta be a way out. We can all get married to each other. You know, I mean, they, they do have a rule. I'm pretty kind of bending it right now, being a priest and marrying two guys. Well, well you can get in on it, too. Uh, okay, <laughs> I mean, we got the new pope, all right. Yeah. Uh, Fortunately, we all wrote our own vows. Scott. Father. Ken. Since I was a little boy, I've always thought about this day and marrying a Scott, a father, a Ken. And you guys have finally made that dream come true. Fortunately for me, I grabbed so many rings off Scott's finger. Right. It's good enough for everybody. Hold on. Oh, there's one right here. All right, your turn, kid. Scott, Father, Roger. I hope I never go soft in your presence again. <laughs> your turn, Scott. Uh, Roger. Ken, father, father. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs>